Right, six. Look where I am. So this is Friday's maths. It is no longer revision, so this is new stuff. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but do take your time. There's no rush. Um, I left the same extension as yesterday because I think probably the harder questions will be easier to do. But let's just go through them quickly anyway. Use the place value counter to make the numbers drawn below. Well, the important thing to remember here is that these are the decimals. Okay, that's the decimal there. So there is nothing in the tens box. You don't need to write anything in here at all. Because the first digit we have is the number one. Okay. And then three, four, three. So just remember that this number is 1.343, not 1.343. That's really important. And that's all you need to remember. On this one, there is something in the tens column. So you will need to start there. That should be pretty simple. If you have, on this last one, for example, there's only two decimals. So you don't need to write anything there. You don't need to write zero. You don't need to write anything. OK. So here's another pictorial version with the counters. How many ones are there? Well, there's three ones. How many tenths? How many hundredths? How many thousandths? Fairly straight number. Write the value of three in each. I would say you've got two ways of answering this. You could either say this first one, the value of three here, is either three, or you could write three ones. I don't mind. But just be careful with these ones if you're writing the number out. Just be careful with what you write. In fact, I'll show you how to do this one. This one here, well, it's three um, tenths, hundreds, thousandths. Is that thousandths? Thousandths? I think that's right. But it's going to be naught point zero zero three. That's how much it's worth. 0 0.003, because we're only interested in the 3. Even though there's a 9 there, we're only interested in the value of the 3. OK, hopefully that makes sense. Um, complete the whole parts of these models. I mean, that's just partitioning. Hopefully that makes sense. And then these ones, this is quite nice. Again, it's partitioning. So it's 10 plus 7 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 point naught three because that's what that one's worth plus naught point naught naught four okay hopefully that makes sense and the same for this one this one is one point plus four plus naught point zero five because naught point zero five that's what that one's worth plus naught point naught six if you added all those together 1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.006 you'd have 6 5 plus 0 is 5 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 make sure my decimals are lined up and I have the same number okay I'll lead you to have a look at the last one on your own. Please remember, don't carry on. Once you've got this one, once you've finished, your extension is the link I've already sent you. Please don't carry on, uh, because we'll go through that on Monday. Okay. I'll be around. It's Friday, so I'm going to be around online. If you're able to get onto Google Chat um, and you want to ask me a question, you can. Otherwise, I'll see you all at, uh, no, at 12 o'clock today the register and stuff thank you for your hard work um, everybody so far I think we're all sorted as a couple of people I know still have a couple of issues but we're trying to solve that as best as we can anyway